Good morning to all the teachers who are listening to, to me from different parts of Kerala. It's a hearty thing to note that such a webinar has been organized, bringing all the teachers from different walks of life to this kind of a seminar. Education have turned many, many cycles. In the beginning, the students came to the house of the teacher and teacher used to teach them during his spare time. The children used to mingle with the teacher's wife, his children, and the Gurugula system ensued. Then rich people called the teachers to their palaces and education institutions started in the palaces. But this could be afforded only by the king and by some rich people <coughs> who could afford to bring a teacher to live in the palace along with his wife and children and teach the princess. Many of the princes had no formal education at all. <coughs> then a third stage developed in which both the teacher and the student used to come to the residential universities and schools where they used to learn. And it is a creditable thing for us that India started this program. In Nalanda University, there was about 1,000 teachers living along with their families and around 10,000 students engammed in the same area on the banks of Indraburshkarni Lake, around 120 kilometers from Patna, the capital of Bihar. <clears throat> there, both the teacher and the student used to come to a separate locality and learn it. This practice went to Oxford, Cambridge, and Sorbonne, and Milan, etc. during the medieval ages. Then developed the formal school system in which universal education was attempted with the wealth created by colonialism. And uh, every village or every town had schools in which teacher can live in his house, student can live in his house, and only during that time, the student and the teacher come to the school, they have the education, and then they go back. Now, with the electronics coming into picture, the whole picture changed. Now, the student is at home, teacher is at his home or her home. From there, through the electronic media, you reach the student. The fifth stage is wonderfully different from the earlier stages. This brings in a lot of stresses to the teacher, to the student, and to the parent. What exactly is the difference? In the school, the teacher and the student is separated in a classroom. The teacher can teach with an eye contact with the students. Teacher is standing, students are sitting. The teacher can commit a blunder in his classroom, nobody will realize because all the people who hear the teacher are the students. They don't have a knowledge structure with them to correct the teacher. And if a student commits a blunder or a mistake, the teacher can call the student near him or her and scold the person or even give a caning. Caning have, of course, stopped now. <clears throat> now, in the change the system, the teacher is no more standing. The teacher is sitting in a chair in his, his or her uh, uh, study room. And the student is in his or her study room. Now, these classes create certain complications. Number one, student alone is not hearing. Sometimes the parent, especially the 
the disciplining mother is also sitting near the teacher and the mother or father of the student may be far more learned far more educated than the teacher now in the earlier system if a student comes home and tells something and the father says no 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 what you are learning is wrong the student will say nothing doing my teacher is superior that is what uh, they will say but in the present situation the father or the mother who is more learned than the teacher can come in sometimes with an electronic device and correct the teacher so the very feeling that somebody at home more than the student is listening to the program is one kind of concern the second concern is the student who is sitting in the in his or her home can electronically record your program now a teacher who taught in the class the class goes into the air gone forever but here at home the student can record your program to listen to it at ease at midnight or some other uh, 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 time so what you say become permanent record and there is no end to it a few years back i made a speech on holy prophet muhammad it was a nabidinam function around 2000 people listened to me in that function but unknowing to me somebody have recorded it and it went on to be heard by around 35 lakh people more than 3.5 million people after when i checked it about 3 years later now this kind of a viewership can develop and a permanent record is created so the teacher has to be extraordinarily careful the third thing is the student can verify what you are teaching immediately in the classroom he doesn't have any facility and the mobile phones are banned in schools and colleges we say it is for discipline but the real purpose is the student should not cross check the teacher in the classroom is a safety mechanism for the teacher but at home the student can give a parallel mechanism nearby and immediately check encyclopedia britannica or uh, encyclopedia uh, colliers or uh, world book encyclopedia or uh, check the wikipedia and sometimes come back to you after 5 minutes or what you told 5 minutes back is wrong and if the student is checking in wikipedia danger is further because wikipedia have uh, hundreds of mistakes anybody can correct the wikipedia and many fools uh, insert uh, wrong information every day i find out four or five mistakes from the wikipedia now with a blunder uh, uh, fact the child may come back to you and uh, say sir in the wikipedia it is given like this and the teacher is in uh, dumbfounded situation so these are the three dangers in the new electronic teaching system now the parent is one factor permanent recording is second factor cross checking of what you teach from uh, a parallel information system and coming back to is a third system i am telling this not to frighten you i am telling this to tell you that uh, you have to be very careful when you take a class in an electronic medium unlike an oral lecture in a classroom now there was an old uh, saying in uh, uh, arabic language that one uh, muhammad said that the mountain will come to me at the 41st day now at the 41st day the mountain didn't come to muhammad so then muhammad said a mountain doesn't come to muhammad muhammad will go to the mountain and he walked up to the mountain this is a anecdote uh, joke we used to say but now this has come true instead of student coming to the school the school goes to the student at home now there can be mute mood swings in swings in the student and uh, student 
is also sitting in an insecure situation. Sometimes when the class is going on, you can hear the mother scolding the child. Some other grandmother who doesn't understand what it is may shout at the student. The teacher can hear the grandmother shout to the student through the electronic system. So the student is also under tension. So this also a teacher should understand. Now, there are a lot of stresses created by the system because of the changes. And you have to, one by one, overcome this situation. The first one is, in an oral teaching method, you need not have any technology with you. Your brain and your tongue and your lungs will do the job. The vocal cords will broadcast your speech to the classroom. Here, there is an incoming system, there's an outgoing system, there's a recording system, there is a broadcasting system, everything going on. And it is actually a net which creates all these problems. And managing the internet requires some technological knowledge. A teacher who is 45 to 50 years old have never ma managed the system, which came into being around 24 years back. While the teacher was in the class, uh, classroom in the school days, that students, teachers never knew this technology. So sometimes people about 45 years do not master the technology of having an electronic class through the net. And the student is on the other, other side of the story. The student manages all these things very, very frequently. Very frequently. My grandchild, who is only seven years old, can operate the net and the computer much, much better than me. And many of your students know the technology much better than you. And uh, <laughs> within a few minutes, the student understands that the teacher doesn't know the mechanism. So sometimes the student can make fun of you or play something with, the, with, with his set. The moment you are asking a question, he will mute the net. You may play with your computer. The problem is not with your computer. The, the pro problem is with the student. And then after 10 minutes, he will go and refer some books, find the answer and come back and set the system correct and say, hey, sir, 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 there was some problem in the net. And with an answer he found out from the shelf, he will answer you. The teacher will feel that the student uh, Student's problem was with the net computer. Actually, the problem was student didn't know the answer. So he played a trick in the net, went to the shelf, found out the answer and came back. So this kind of a uh, thing. And the moment the student realizes the teacher doesn't know the operation of the net, a lot of games can be played on the teacher. As Vivekananda says, Western education teachers, first thing, my father is a fool. The second thing, the teacher is ignorant like that. Vivekananda said it to ridicule Western education, but now it has become a reality. At least in for some teachers, the students feel that the teacher is less knowledgeable than him or her, at least in the operation of the computer or the net. Now this stress has to be overcome. So teachers who want to live with the present system should verify this uh, information network system and master the art of operating the system. You require only hardly around two weeks time to master the operation of the net and the system. Now, this is something uh, which you have to do first. The moment you know that you can operate the net uh, perfectly, the first stress is over. Or you can go to a computer uh, this thing, uh, uh, teaching uh, organization and learn it. Or you can learn yourself. There is a learn yourself uh, uh, classes available in the computer. And you master the operation of a computer. You need not know what is a computer. You need not know software and hardware. 
but you should know the operations of a computer operations of an electronic class and uh, and the mechanism by which you can control your students who are far away far far away second thing is you should have the reference system with you earlier you can learn something and go to the classroom and uh, flourish in the classroom no questions will come back to you very rarely some students will come to the staff room and say sir i have some doubts here and uh, he may ask some doubts and you clear it separately now the teacher should be able to refer material available to him or her in our childhood when we were young we used to go to the library check the books read it take notes of it and give it back now the system is far advanced he need not go to a library to read any book if you have a kindle with you you can bring any book from anywhere from the world to your uh, kindle earlier uh, some books were not available in kerala i used to go to madras the central library to fetch those books sometimes take a photocopy of the book and come back now even if the book is not available in any part of india you can take the book from harvard university or oxford university or from the american congress library and bring it to your net and you can read the book the second one is you should know pronunciation in a real classroom students cannot correct your pronunciation but in the electronic class the student will sometimes say sir i couldn't understand what is that word and then the student say sir you may have perhaps said this word the new cutter sorry figure because the student uh, correctly learn the pronunciation from the uh, television net or from the electronic class but the teacher doesn't know what is the pronunciation now this is the uh, problem i have learned a word while i was in the 8th standard my teacher used to teach me kidnap he pronounced it as kidnap after 3 years after coming to college i understood that what he meant as kidnap is actually kidnap the teacher who studied in a rural school have learned from perhaps from his teacher the word pronounces as kidnap we have heard many people say southern or soldier like that now the student and his or her parent are well versed in its pronunciation so you can uh, you can take the reading book for example if you want to read will duran a professor from oxford university called rocky c read the whole book and put it on record so if you want to read a particular part of will duran you can just say volume 1 our original heritage indian uh, history then the uh, the mechanism will start reading in the sound of rocky sea advantage is two things you need not tire out your eyes number two the correct pronunciation of each word will be understood by you so learn the pronunciation of english and any word so that you are not caught by a student or the student's parent at home third one is getting the summary of the book before reading the book there is a program called the blinkist b l i n g i s t if you register with the blinkist paying around 4000 rupees one whole year 365 days you can get the summary of any world classics instantly so i want to read leo tolstoy's uh, war and peace 3200 pages i took 21 days to read the book but now if you just uh, type in the blinkist war and peace leo tolstoy english then the summary of that book will come in five pages on the screen you can just read it take a print out of it and keep it with you earlier i used to read one book a day now i can read 15 or 20 books a day you sing blinkist so whatever is the book you are going to teach to the student take a summary from the blinkist 
and have a rough picture of it in your brain before you start taking the class to your uh, students. Third one is in-depth knowledge on the subject. Whatever is a subject you want to learn, there are hundreds of programs made in different parts of the world. If you want to teach about Second World War, there are at least 5,000 programs in the net. If you go to YouTube and go to documentaries, just you type the subject, all the, all the audio video programs on that thing will come on the screen as a, a list. So according to the time available, you can click on a particular program. Then you get a audio video program on the screen. Then you have a complete knowledge about that uh, subject. So get some exhaustive knowledge on the subject. Very simply, you can uh, do it. And then the audio programs, you can either keep it at your, in your pocket and hear it. Even when you travel in a car, even when you are going to sleep, you can sit on the program, listen to it till you go to uh, sleep. So this kind of uh, information mechanism you have to use so that the student will be flabbergasted at your knowledge. The parents who occasionally listen to the program feel, oh, that teacher is very good. And occasionally the parent may meet your principal or meet the manager of your school and say, that particular teacher is very good. So principal will say, how oh, I listen to the, to the classes to the student. And that uh, chance coming by a parent to the principal or parent to the manager of the school will raise your prestige far, far higher than your educational qualifications or your mechanism of your classes. Your reputation will grow. And occasionally parents will meet each other and they will say, oh, that teacher, you know, is very good. She takes fantastic classes. Now, you have to build up your reputation like this. So make use of the Kindle, make use of the YouTube, make use of uh, audio classes, make use of your encyclopedia searches and all those kinds of things. Now I had a great ambition to have Encyclopedia Britannica as a personal copy in my library. It took almost one and a half years of my savings to purchase. 35 volumes of the Nsaga Britannica. I brought it to my library and kept it in the library. I felt like conquering the world. But now I realize what a foolishness I have committed. You can uh, link Nsaga Britannica, Americana, Colliers, and the World Book Encyclopedia but simply to your, uh, uh, your uh, information system. Without any expenditure, you can search the, any subject at any time to the uh, encyclopedias and knowledge comes to your tip. I am sitting in my library and giving you the lecture. On my right hand, you can see a shelf six feet height and 18 feet long. Like this, I have uh, at least 10 shelves in my library. Lakhs and lakhs of uh, rupees worth of books. Now, our children need not waste all this money. Our children need not waste a full second floor for the library. The knowledge is at the fingertip. They can get the whole thing from the encyclopedias. In our Puranas, there is a famous story. Vijnana Asura uh, did a tapas and Lord Brahma appeared. Vijnana Asura said, the whole world's knowledge should come to my fingertip. So when I take the pen, the knowledge will flow out. Brahma said, nothing to you. I will not give it to you. You will die. But what Brahma refused Vikyan Asura is now available to every student and every teacher at the fingertip. The moment you can operate the computer and go to the cloud library, libraries in the clouds. From there, you can bring any information to, the, to your computer or the mobile phone. So that kind of information network. So get up to date with your, all the electronic uh, items available at your house. And then go to the class with all the ready information. Now, one more point I wish to tell you 
that is the employment structure now in uh, in our present uh, system the whole education employment possibility of teachers are getting affected now in a school if there are 10 divisions of 10th standard you require 10 teachers to manage that 10 classes so number of divisions in a school multiplied by almost 4 will be the total staff strength of that school if a school have 50 divisions the number of teachers will number around 200 because every class has to be engaged but now all the 10th standard put together require only one teacher because one teacher teaching chemistry before an electronic device can immediately be broadcast to all the students in all the 10 divisions so in a way it is threatening job threatening to teachers number of teachers post can come down but there is an alternate view if a teacher is very good then that teacher will be engaged by this kind of electronic companies to take classes to be given to lakhs of uh, students and you are rewarded very high rewarded very high once i was called by one such a uh, educational uh, institution and i gave four lectures at the end of which the company gave me a check of 1 lakh rupees i said what is this i took only four lectures and you are giving me 1 lakh rupees they said that is the rate we are fixing i said i don't want this you give me only uh, one fifth of it or one tenth of it but they said no, no sir we have sanctioned it and already returned the check so please don't refuse it so you have to take the money so in the electronic device if a teacher uh, proves himself or herself to be meritorious the reward of the teacher goes up your reward for just two lectures will be far more than your monthly salary so your uh, real worth will give you a lot of dividends but indirectly the employment possibility of teachers is highly uh, going to be reduced and then you should be able to listen to classes for example in my childhood i had no other alternative but to listen to the teacher and learn but now what happens even if i don't get into a school or a college you can learn the whole curriculum in the country wide classroom of university grants commission the entire syllabus of standard 10 standard 11 standard 12 uh, every degree class is completely covered a student can just listen to the whole class uh, in his uh, bedroom and learn the whole thing an en- engineering student need not get into engineering only at all even if he or she doesn't go to the college the entire engineering course is covered in around 2000 classes taken by the best teachers in india bus process in india except for except for mbbs where real practice of the patient is required you can learn any course privately this is an opportunity and this is a threat but a teacher before going for the class may refer to this kind of standard classes on that particular topic and up to date yourself my dear teachers you are entering into a new era the last two years we have entered into a new era steve jobs have created this mechanisms laptop and iphone and all those things one man changed the course of 21st century he died at age of 52 because of pancreatic cancer but it is irreversible you should understand this it is irreversible and in that irreversible process the world have changed completely students have changed parents have changed teachers also have to change when first lockdown was introduced we thought it will be over in 3 months time 
in the last one year we have not got out of it yesterday the national television and the doctors and scientists have told that within 8 weeks third wave is coming they correctly know within 60 days third wave is coming and third wave of covid is much more devastating than the second and they have already predicted a fourth wave is going to hit us in september like the american fourth wave it will be much more disastrous so when will you get out of lockdown and the scientists say most probably after 2 years not 2 months 2 years so we are in this problem up to 2023 and after 2023 i don't think it will return to the old system perfectly now that is a wonderful change when change is inevitable as the famous philosopher said get ready for the change don't try at the change oh it is uh, all bad and all those things you will change when something is inevitable don't cry about that that change you get adjusted that change man get adjusted from agriculture stage industrial stage from industrial stage to old age from the industrial stage we went to the mechanical stage from there we went to the atomic energy stage and then to the non conventional energy stage and we are entering a new electronic age get ready for that instead of building up stress within you adjust yourself to the new system teaching is the glory of all professions perhaps it was the poorest of all trades when sarvapala dakshin wrote the report in 1951 but it is the glory of all professions in 1980 i was the first rank holder in the banking offices examination of india but at the same week i got appointment as the lecturer in marvanus college the lecturer salary was 620 rupees the salary of the bank manager was 1600 rupees two and a half times but i didn't take the manager's job i came to become a teacher with just 40% of salary because teaching is the most rewarding uh, experience it's the glorious of all jobs some people uh, told me you are a fool you have taken a job of 40% salary you should have become a manager you are first rank holder i said if i sit as a manager in an, in a bank any customer coming to the bank i have to call him sir but as a lecturer in a college in a prestigious college every student and every parent will call me sir that's the difference of a teacher and when a teacher approaches even the emperor used to get up from his uh, chair go to the teacher and bow before him touch his feet the president and the prime minister get up from his chair go to the teacher and touches his feet in the indian style or do a great salute to him in the western style there is only one job in this world where every rich man every powerful man even the king will bow before you that is the glory of the teacher's job no other job can have this so god has uh, given you the chance to become a great uh, teacher and that uh, teacher's job is equivalent with with its value in gold when i when i introduced the chief food system chapati curry etc at uh, 20% of the cost people asked me where do you get this model from i said i took it from holy prophet mohammed after the war he got some captives at that time you have to pay uh, 10 uh, gold coins to get your liberty 10 uh, gold coins it is varahat so one varahan is worth around uh, 45000 rupees of these days so 10 varahan is roughly equal to 4 and a half lakh rupees and many people could not afford it but prophet muhammad realized that that's literacy in uh, among uh, the arabs at that time was hardly 2% but many of these people were literate so he told them 
if each one of you can teach uh, bring liter make 10 persons literate you will be given freedom and the meccans those who are learned among the meccans did it and uh, they were given freedom so what holy prophet uh, did at that time was he declared that uh, teaching a person how to read and write is equivalent to one varah or 45000 rupees or as we say in malayalam vidyadhanam sarvadhanal pradhanam and he declared value of a teacher is equal to the amounts of gold in gold equivalents so i told making use of the capability of the prisoners is what the prison department have to do so as holy prophet showed us each teacher is bringing light to hundreds and thousands of students in the present education system a teacher who serves for about 30 years is teaching around 30000 students during his or her teaching lifetime my dear teachers this is the most wonderful contribution you can do no doctor no engineer no ias officer no ips officer can do this much of service as each one of you change the course of life of around 30000 students during your lifetime my father was an headmaster and my mother was a headmistress my sisters are all teachers my aunties were all teachers my uncles wives are all teachers two of my sisters were teachers my wife was a college principal so my family is full of teachers we have pride about your profession yours is the glory star for profession i hope that today's seminar this webinar will show you the way how to get out of your stresses and become very effective teachers i was given only 15 minutes but uh, now i look on the watch and i i think i have taken 45 minutes sorry for uh, taking more time i wish you best luck and with all happiness i declare this webinar to be inaugurated thank you very much thank you so much sir for your great words of wisdom which have really sparked each and every teacher over here thank you so much for joining with us indeed thank you a great insight for us may the almighty's choices to blessings be showered on you to live long and inspire millions of us thank you so much thank you